Hello friends, welcome to Tasty Magic. Today we can prepare delicious mutton biryani. Let's look what are the ingredients required for it. Here I have taken half kg mutton, cut into small piece, washed and drained. 3 onion chopped, medium sized. Then 3 tomato chopped. Then 2 tablespoon ginger garlic paste. 1 and a half tablespoon crushed shallots, 4 green chilies, ginger, garlic and shallots are taken in equal amount. One teaspoon vinegar, then spices, one teaspoon pepper powder, one teaspoon chili powder. Half teaspoon turmeric powder and half a teaspoon garam masala. Then three cardamom, two cloves, small piece of cinnamon and one bay leaf. Then quarter cup of mint leaf and coriander leaf. Then jeera kashala rice, three cup I have taken. Ghee and refined oil each. 2 tablespoon, 1 onion and some cashew nut and raisin for frying just to garnish. First we can cook the mutton for that I have taken it in a pressure cooker. Add some spices quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder and pepper powder and some garam masala. Then 1 teaspoon ginger garlic paste and enough salt and mix well. Close the cooker and let it cook in a high flame until one whistle come and then in a low flame for about 10 to 15 minutes. Meanwhile we can make the masala for that in a heated pan add 1 tablespoon of ghee to it add some cashew nut and raisins and fry it in a low flame replace the fried cashew and raisins in a bowl To the same pan add 1 chopped onion and 1 tablespoon of oil and let it fry until it become golden brown color and transfer to another bowl. Then add the whole spices to the oil and just fry for a minute in a low flame and add green chilies. Then onion and sort it well in a low medium flame and it will become translucent. Add the remaining oil to it and mix well and sort again. Now we have sorted the onion for about 10 minutes in a low medium flame. To it add the ginger garlic paste and crushed shallots and sort until the raw smell goes. After sorting well, add the spices and mix well and sort it for about 1 or 2 minutes in a low flame.
Meanwhile, check the mutton. It is almost cooked. We have cooked it for about 10 to 15 minutes in a low flame. Even though we have not added water, you can see water is there. Then switch off the flame. After the sorting the spices, add the tomatoes and mix well. In a medium flame, sort it well. Cover the lid and let it cook. Meanwhile, we can boil the water for cooking the rice. Add enough salt. Here I am draining the rice. So, sufficient amount of water is needed. If you are making ghee rice, then add 2 cup of water for 1 cup of rice. Close with a lid and let it boil. To the boiling water, add the cleaned and drained rice to it. We added salt in water. So, just check before adding it. Let it cook for about 10 minutes in a high flame. Now the tomatoes has smashed well. To it add the vinegar and mix well. Then add the cooked mutton to the masala and mix well. Let the mutton cook in masala for about 10 minutes in a medium flame. Now the mutton has mixed with the masala, add the chopped coriander and mint leaves and mix well. Now the masala is done, switch off the flame and keep it aside. Now it's almost 10 minutes in a high flame. Let it cook for some more time in a medium flame. Now the rice is almost cooked. We can drain it in a strainer. The rice is drained in a strainer. The rice and masala is ready. In a saucepan add 1 tablespoon of ghee. Then add 1 layer of rice. Here I am adding half a portion of cooked rice. Just level it. Add the complete masala mix about the rice and distribute it evenly. Above the masala, sprinkle some mint leaves and coriander leaves and a pinch of garam masala sprinkle some fried onion remaining onion and cashew nut we are using for garnishing one more then one more layer of rice and repeat the same process
Cover it with an aluminium foil and close the lid and keep it in a low flame for about 30 minutes. Now it's almost 30 minutes. We can open it and just check it. It is done. Mix well and transfer to a serving bowl. Or you can separate the rice and masalas in separate bowl. It's according to your wish. Tasty mutton biryani is ready. Please try out the recipe and comment your feedbacks. If you like the recipe, don't forget to share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.